There is a severe global environmental threat that is underappreciated, underestimated, and often unacknowledged. The impacts of invasive alien species are already immense. They have played a key role in almost two-thirds of global plant and animal extinctions. They cost the world economy more than $423 billion every year, and their risks are rising alarmingly. Humans are the reason for the spread of alien species, with more than 37,000 species known to have been moved around the world. Our actions also drive biological invasions, but we have the power to prevent these challenges, reduce risks, and restore damaged ecosystems. Invasive alien species are animals, plants, and other organisms that have been introduced by human activities to new habitats, where they have become established, spread, and now cause negative impacts on nature and often also on people. In 2019, the Global Assessment Report by the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, found that invasive alien species are one of the five most important direct drivers of biodiversity loss globally. To address this challenge, IPBES undertook a landmark assessment of invasive alien species and their control. Launching the IPBES Invasive Alien Species Report in September 2023, the report is the culmination of research from 86 leading experts from 49 countries, drawing on more than 13,000 references, including significant contributions from indigenous peoples and local communities, making it the most comprehensive assessment ever conducted of invasive alien species. Invasive alien species are a major threat to biodiversity and can cause irreversible damage to nature including local and global species extinctions, and they also threaten human well-being. In fact, 85% of the impacts of biological invasions on native species are negative, and 85% of documented impacts negatively affect people's quality of life, for instance, through consequences for human health. Diseases like malaria, Zika, and West Nile fever are transmitted by invasive alien mosquito species, such as Aedes albopictus and Aedes aegypti. Beyond health risks, invasive alien species can also deal a devastating blow to livelihoods. It would be an extremely costly mistake to regard biological invasions as only a someone else problem. Although the specific species that inflict damages vary from place to place, these are risks and challenges with global roots, but very local impacts facing people in every country from all backgrounds and in every community, even Antarctica is being affected. Indigenous peoples and local communities are among those most at risk from invasive alien species. More than 2,300 invasive alien species are found on land under the stewardship of indigenous peoples, which threatens their quality of life and even their cultural identities. Many human activities facilitate biological invasions. These include global trade, tourism, climate change, and land use change. There are four steps of the biological invasion process. Transport. Human activities move a species beyond the barriers that define its natural range. Introduction. The species arrives at a new location through human activities. Establishment. The alien species produces a viable, self-sustaining population. Spread. The alien species disperses in a new environment and becomes an invasive alien species. Invasive alien species have numerous negative impacts on nature and on people. 37% of the 37,000 alien species known today have been reported since 1970, largely caused by rising levels of trade and human travel. Under business-as-usual conditions, the IPBES Invasive Alien Species Report projects that the total number of alien species will continue to rise in this way, but business-as-usual is unlikely. The accelerating global economy intensified and expanded land and sea use change and population changes are likely to lead to increases in biological invasions around the world. Climate change will make the situation even worse. The IPBES experts also make the point that the measures currently in place are not sufficient to tackle these challenges. 
Although 80% of countries have targets relating to managing invasive alien species, only 17% have national laws or regulations addressing these issues, and 45% of countries do not invest in managing biological invasions. One of the most important messages from the IPIS report is that ambitious progress in tackling invasive alien species is achievable. For almost every context and situation, there are management tools, governance options, and targeted actions that really work. Prevention is identified as the best, most cost-effective option. Preventative measures, such as border biosecurity and strict import controls, combined with preparedness, early detection, and rapid response are all shown to be effective in many instances. Eradication, containment, and control are also effective in specific contexts, and the restoration of damaged ecosystems can also improve the results of management actions, increasing resistance to future invasive alien species. The report underscores the vital role of public awareness and engagement, exemplified by citizen science initiatives, as well as considering coherent policies and codes of conduct across sectors and scales, open and interoperable information systems, filling knowledge gaps in more than 40 areas of research, as well as inclusive and integrated governance. In December 2022, governments agreed on a new set of goals and targets in the Global Biodiversity Framework. One of these specific commitments is to reduce the introduction and establishment of invasive alien species by at least 50% by 2030. The IPBES Invasive Alien Species Assessment Report provides the evidence, tools, and options to help make this commitment a more achievable reality to help ensure the well-being of nature and people around the world. IPBES, science and policy for people and nature.